Kara waits with it. I warn you, Bangor, no tricks. You have my solemn word. What's this? An empty tent. Another of Bangor's deceptions. Now we have him. Cut the ropes. <laughs> Quickly, bind him! But Bangor, what of the floppy-eared beast? <laughs> Let him return to the Arabian Nights. They will learn of the capture of Rasim. And that will bring Turhan to Baghdad and the trap that awaits him. Zazum's return alone from the waterhole means just one thing. Yes. The Kaz guards have captured Razim. We must go to Baghdad and free him. It will be dangerous, my prince. <coughs> yes, for Razim, it's a danger we must risk. <coughs> Not you, Nida. You'll remain here with Sazum. Bez, get us to Baghdad as fast as possible. As you command, Turan. Size of a flying horse. <coughs> I wish we could go. Good luck. Behold, this is what becomes of the enemies of Baghdad. Are you ticklish, big ox? Bakar, you shall pay for your foul deeds. Turhan will avenge me. It goes according to plan. My men are positioned and waiting for Turhan. Make sure you do not fail, or else... Is that quick enough? For Razim's sake, I hope so. We must separate and meet inside the city. Good luck, my friends. There's one of them. Him trap. Time to go up in smoke, Rosanne Kobar. He has vanished, <laughs> but this time we are ready for his tricks. We have him. <laughs> the quickest way out of here is through that hole in the wall. Size of a mouse. <laughs> Performance, Turhan, but unfortunately, you're last. We have captured those who would bring harm to Baghdad. And now you shall witness the fate of those who oppose the mighty Makar. 
Have you any last words, Sir Han? Only these, Bakar. I vow to rid the land of your evil rule, and I swear it shall be done. <laughs> you talk as if you have lost your head, Sir Han, and in a moment you shall. Begin with the big one. Off with the traitor's head. Stop! Move on, old one. You're in the way. Not until justice is dealt to the enemies of Baghdad. I said move on and take this sorry-looking beast with you. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom. And Nida, quick Nida, down! Good boy, Zazoom. Now to free the knights. Ready your arrows! There. Quickly, off the platform. I have a use for it. Fire! Here are your arrows back. Nice work, Razim. Now, if you'll give me a lift. Guards! Shoot him down! Then, it's time we flew out of Baghdad. As you wish, Turhan. Size of a flying horse. Turhan, didn't Bakar say that cage was for enemies of Baghdad? Yes, Farik. Then before we go, Kazim Kobar! You'll pay for this, Turhan! A splendid gesture, Farik. And a true one, Nida. Yes, and one day we shall rid Baghdad of the car forever. Turhan, we forgot Sazum. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry, Rasim. Molim Kobar! You've shrunken him. Only until we reach camp. Then I'll return him to normal size. And no matter what Zezum's size, he still has the biggest heart. Agreed. This meltdown now continues on TBS Netflix.
Boulevard. Come on. Come, hold it. Hold it. You put up a pretty good fight for a man just washed up on the beach. I, I thought you were... Well, I know what you thought, but you didn't give me a chance to tell you any differently. My name's Elite Hugh Morgan. You can forget the first part, the last will do five. Link Simmons. Jango, this is Link Simmons, a new resident to our happy little island, home away from home. Jango says he's very glad to meet you and hopes you enjoy our simple hospitality. You tell Chongo I'm proud to meet him, too. And... <laughs> You've already told him. He hears fine. He just can't talk. <laughs> Excuse me, Chongo. Chongo can talk perfectly, only not with his mouth. Sometimes those uh, bird calls and cat calls and birds <laughs> are quite behind the door. Chango says we should go and get some rest and sleep and uh, food. In fact, food sounds pretty good to me. I think we got some steak and lobster back here. Hungry, Sam? Huh? You can get something to eat, too. How you feel, Link? Great. This pretty cool as I heard of those bruises. Oh, that's made from a private recipe. Uh, it's made from bat's ears, uh, snake toes, uh, bug eyes, fish tails, and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm putting you on, man. It's, it's, it's made from herbs and roots from some uh, plants that Chongo and I found during the first year on the island. You hungry? Yeah, star. Come on, let's see. No, uh, no hamburgers or pork chops. <laughs> Chongo, what are you doing here? You know you're supposed to be on guard duty. So it's all clear and you're hungry? So eat. This is great. What is it? Well, what is it, Chongo? That's a no-no, Chongo, and you know it. You're never supposed to do your laundry in the kitchen. Hey, how'd you and Chongo get here anyway? Oh, uh, we were merchant mariners on a ship that got blown off course during the typhoon. Shipwreck, then? Nope. Raiders. They boarded us, killed most everybody, threw the rest of us overboard. Figured we'd end up shark food or just plain drown. Chongo and I are the only ones that made it to the island, I think. One of these guys, a great big tall cat with a beard, thinks he's a pirate? Yeah. They called him Newtown. That's him. That's the same bunch that boarded our ship. Man, what I wouldn't give to get my Forget hands... Forget it. I mean, this island's so far away from everything that chances are we'll never be picked up by anybody, even them. What's the matter with you, John? Go get our man some, uh, some clothes. There's plenty of stuff in here. Don't any ships ever pass by here? Well, sure, but uh, I think during the past uh, three years, there's been maybe two. Oh, you're right, John Go. There's been three. And that's just what they did, pass by. And you didn't try and signal them? Well, sure, but we only got two flares left and... three flares left. And, of course, I don't want to use them on account of, like, uh, they won't see them and somebody else will. Somebody else? You mean there's other people on this island? Yeah. Natives? Yep, and not what you'd call the friendly type, either. I mean, they collect things. They collect things? Yeah. Things like? Like heads. Heads? Heads. They do? They do. Headhunters? Yes? What is it? I have a bamogram for a Mr. Flegel. Well, I miss the Flegel, but what is a bamogram? A bamogram is sort of like a telegram. Only instead of getting a message, you get a bam. I've got to stop asking silly questions.
skeleton. It's a brick with a note tied to it. What does the note say, Fleagy? The sour grapes are inviting us to a dance. <gasps> Isn't that nice? Trooper, go ask him what kind of a dance it is. Okay, Fleag. <laughs> Must be the red skin rumba. What kind of a dance is it, Drooper? An Indian war dance, what else? <laughs> Say, what time is it, Boo Boo? It's time to get this clock fixed. I'm coming all unglued. <laughs> oh, shit. Scared it. It is done, D'Artagnan. One tug of the string, and the pistol will explode the flask filled with powder. And voila! No more bridge. Good. To your posts. Now, Athos. Keep your place, coachman, and you will retain your health. The door is locked from within. I have a simple solution. A foolish attempt, messenger. Now I will relieve you of the letter you carry. You will regret this, musketeer. We shall see, monsieur. You have done well, my musketeers. This letter from the Duke Laval carries a plan of treachery against the king. Then you will surely expose him for his evil plot, your highness. As soon as the king returns from the north, Constance. Until then, your majesty, we will guard you and the letter with our lives. I must have that letter back at all costs. But how, sire? You know the queen's handmaiden, the one called Constance? Yes, sire. Listen closely. This time it will be your heads if you fail. God, what is it? The Duke's men have taken the Queen's handmaiden prisoner. D'Artagnan, look, a note. The Duke demands the letter in exchange for Constance's safe return. Then I leave for the Duke's fortress to rescue her. Without us? Oh, no, you don't. Fortress is heavily guarded, D'Artagnan. That is why we approach from the sea. Are you ready, D'Artagnan? Ready. A bit clumsy, but well done.
Good evening, monsieur. A king's musketeer, and he is mine. Would you care for four? <laughs> there are four musketeers. Then we will take them. <laughs> they are mine. On guard. <laughs> This may lead us to the dungeon. Follow me. Constance. D'Artagnan. You will be free in a moment. Behind you. The Duke Laval. Yes, musketeers. And now you are all doomed. Guards, take them. Porthos. One moment, D'Artagnan. <laughs> Hold a moment. Have you seen this one? Behold, my friend. A cork. And what is a cork without a jug? Touché. Bring the girl. I have her, sire. <laughs> Not yet, musketeers. Out. We will leave them to fight the sea. D'Artagnan, the Duke is flooding the dungeon. Not even the great strength of Porthos can free us. I wouldn't be too sure, D'Artagnan. this beam against the bars. One last... Oh. 